What's going on guys? My name is Andre and I'm back in 2020 I guess. Uh, as you've, If you have followed my YouTube channel, you notice I've been uh, doing a little, more, a little bit more gaming than I normally do. You know, I just want to get that my videos out there kind of thing, just for fun. Uh, but what's the reason for this vlog? You know, it's 2020 and people say, New Year, New Me. Uh, well, New Year, same me actually. I'm just trying to, you know, get a little bit more out of my comfort zone and uh, start this whole vlogging thing. Like, why not? I got a few errands to run, so I'll take you guys along with me. So for starters, let's leave the house, keep our cat in. Definitely wanted him getting out. Um, what I gotta do today? I gotta actually go rinse the car. We've had a shit ton of snow recently. <laughs> and I mean a ton. Um, oh God, of course. And I forgot my car with my keys. That's always good, that's always handy. That's sort of be the first step to leaving the house. Make sure you grab your car keys and your house keys. Well, I guess for me, house keys are uh, cell phone. Just, yeah. My other jacket. Nope, get back in. Little cat, he loves going outside. So, yeah, I got to lock the door today, which makes sense, but okay. Let's, let's get in here. So, excuse the door noise, the door's opening, but I guess one of the reasons I kind of want to start this vlog is people have been asking me, can you get gear in there, or any of my friends, kind of like, you know, show, show what you got this year, uh, or I guess last year, technically, uh, what you're passionate about, etc. And uh, in 2019, uh, I actually had the chance to uh, trade in, trade in, I guess, sell uh, my old uh, Mercedes C300, and uh, I've, I know how to even say it, but I guess uh, one of my dream vehicles, uh, which since I first landed my eyes on it, was back in, I want to say, 2014 when the new uh, model came out, and they had a wagon, they had a sedan, it's like a super saloon, and I love sedans, which are kind of like, understated, they have a ton of power, they're all wheel drive, and they're just great for all around use. So, we really gotta go watch it today, since it's, as you can see, it's been snowing like crazy, we had minus 40 degrees Celsius weather, and then it turned to slush, and it's just, it's been brutal. So the car's been covered in dirt and slush, and it's just gross. And this kind of car has gotta be clean. So I gotta go watch it, but I might as well show you guys what state it is right now, what my garage state is in rising right now because it's just a mess but we'll get that all cleaned up so let's check this thing out and that ladies and gentlemen is my new whip my new ride um, definitely have been an extreme fan of this thing it's a 2014 uh, E63 AMG S my I guess I really would love to have gotten this in the black or white uh, but I can't afford a brand new one. That's just that's way out of my price range. This was a 2014 CPO certified pre-owned from uh, Mercedes-Benz Edmonton West. My really cool good friend Roly actually uh, notified me of this ride that came in. Uh, it, was, it was four years old, uh, almost five, and it only had 53,000 kilometers. Never winter driven. This is the first winter it's seen. It's got winter tires on it. Got a set of uh, summers back there. Um, and yeah, you know, let's let's hop in. But I think everybody probably wants to hear a cold start on this thing. And with it being I think like minus ten today, it's it's gonna be a legit cold start. So let's get that. Let me get the camera set up, and we'll hear a cold start. There you go, that's 
what I love about this thing, this thing is the noise. I love it. It's just it's something like it's crazy. But let's hop in. Let's go for a spin. Okay, so um, I have my neighbors coming across. Uh, I guess they're going sledding somewhere. I don't know where. I mean, they came back from sledding. But let's. Uh, so yeah, I think the plan right now is to go first to get a wash because it's nice and cold out. Uh, so stay st somewhat stay clean, and then we'll pop over to the registry see if I can get some. I'm looking to get a custom license plate, so we'll see how that goes. And then we'll go do our thing. So I'll touch base with you guys in a second. So I thought it was a good day to wash my car. Clearly it wasn't. It's, I thought it was much colder than it actually is, but it is just zero degrees Celsius. Uh, camera ahead. There goes my radar Red detector. Light camera ahead. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go find the government house uh, in Edmonton. I think I kind of know where it is, roughly. Uh, but we'll go there and I'll uh, give kind of like a quick overview of of the car when I got it. I guess you guys know when I got it. I bought it last year in April. Uh, show you the inside, show the outside. Just give you a quick little rundown of it and why I picked this, why I love it. Uh, what I kind of don't like about it um, And yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so we're out here uh, Found government house actually no problems. I kind of knew where it was uh, But this is the location I was thinking um, Actually a pretty good spot to talk about the car nice and quiet You can see all the snow and then we got a ton of it recently actually um, But yeah, let's have a quick spin around in the car and see what it's like. So what do we have here? We have my 2014 E63 S in iridium silver uh, now this came, came with every option except uh, the dvd screens in the back and carbon ceramic brakes i thought i wanted carbon ceramic brakes but i never tracked the car so to me it doesn't really make any sense but yeah this is uh this is my beast it's got the night package uh which blocks out a lot of uh the little details around the exhaust tips, um, uh, the bottom little, I guess, side skirt clip on kind of idea, but let's back this up a bit. Yeah, it is uh, definitely something else. Currently, right now, it is sitting in sport mode. Um, what that means is uh, the front is a standard suspension, the back has aromatic, so the back does lower a little bit. Um, normally, I drive it in comfort, but with how much snow we've had recently and with the city being really well with cleaning it up. I thought might as well run it in slow and in sport mode. Uh, there is sport plus just lower. I do believe a tiny little bit extra um, But we'll we'll check that out later uh, But yeah, so this is uh, 2014 e63s the facelift um, It's got 577 horsepower well, rated for 577 horsepower uh, I think about 600 some foot pounds of torque um, all-wheel drive it is rear-wheel drive biased all-wheel drive system so you can definitely get it to kick out uh, quite easily uh, twin turbo v8 uh, this is the 5.5 liter m157 engine um, hopefully it is bulletproof i've heard amazing things about it it is a great vehicle anyway mm -hmm. um, so i don't really have much done to it anyway right now aside from uh, just a bit of window tint technically front you also have front uh, window tint uh, in Alberta, uh, but with the way it's faded in, I think it works out pretty nice. On the inside, what do we have? We have uh, black leather with the white stitching, contrast stitching, black inlays, uh, color Cantera steering wheel, paddle shifters, um, massage seats. I uh, love one thing I love about it is the multi contour dynamic seats, so your side bolted bolsters will actually press in on you. Uh, when you go around corners. The panel roof, of course. I believe that's standard, my radar detector. Um, and rear trunk's got, of course, winter gloves, uh, my workout bag, and uh, snow brush with some Kleenex. And oh yeah, silver seat belts, of course. I love, love that little touch. Um, but everything else is as standard. License plate will be gone, but the car is already dirty. Like really, just washed it. Drove for about 
15, 20 minutes. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's caked on dirt everywhere. Uh, but here's the thing. I love this car. One of the things I love about it is it's a four-door super saloon. Twin turbo VA. Tons of power, tons of torque. Uh, and it, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a sleeper because uh, it has to have a pretty menacing front end, a gaping front end. Um, and uh, yeah, I just love the styling of it. It's it's an all-around great car, all-around daily driver, summer, winter, rain, doesn't matter. Um, so I really have no actual complaints about this thing. I guess, actually, no, correction, I do have one complaint. Um, in winter, of course, we got a shit ton of snow buildup right in here. And this is the bad thing is, well, it's great for Mercedes because it's it's like almost like a felt or a fabric on the inside. Uh, so that really um, attracts snow, attracts the dirt. Uh, it's great for sound editing, of course. So that works. Uh, but other than that, it's perfect. I would say, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, I originally actually wanted to get the wagon. I love wagons. I love the E63 wagon. Uh, but um, just, it was just way too hard to find one in good condition. This thing I picked up, um, so it was almost five years old and it had 53,000 kilometers on it. And now it's at 68, so not much, not much more. Uh, but I think what we should do is should we do a little rev? Don't think this area would people would appreciate me that much. So let's go find another area. All right, we have arrived to my spot. This is uh, actually one of the parkades which I kind of used to park at a long time ago. But I feel like this is going to be a perfect spot to hear that really roar. So um, as you can hear, there's a little bit of echo here already, so this will amplify it a little bit. Hopefully, the mic on the mic on the One Plus will pick it up. But let's give that a shot. Sirens from far away. I'm sure it's not for me, but either way, let's get the hell out of here. Um, that's what it sounds like. And yes, the car has been warmed up. <laughs> been driving driving the car for oh god, a good hour now, I'd say. But yeah, this is technically, I guess, public property. But I'm sure the security guards don't appreciate that. But you know, either way, let's let's get bouncing. And um, yeah, I don't. Know. I think this this is pretty much what this vlog was. This one, this vlog was a bit more random little things. But what I've been up to this week, I guess what I was actually what I've been doing today. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to do more more of these. Actually, planning to do more. This is one of my goals for 2020 is uh, to get back into actual vlogging and start off vlogging and just do something different. Um, and um, of course the big news for this year is I am getting married uh, in November of this year and uh, 2019 has just been crazy busy so I'll do another vlog um, kind of like a little recapture of the fun parts of 2019 I guess you really can't call it a rewind because I really didn't really record much in 2019 but well, I'll, I'll do something up for you guys that you guys can see uh, the whole process, uh, what I went through, and the proposal, our trip, where, where we went, um, those little things here and there. Um, but yeah, well, I'll try to talk to you guys later, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.